Today I'm going to be talking about the multiplication of vectors. <clears throat> um, here below I have an example of a number of different vectors being multiplied. Um, you can see here I have a vector containing 1, 2, and 3 multiplied by one containing 4, 5, and 6. And um, it turns out there's lots of different ways to multiply vectors that have different uh, meanings and results. And uh, two of the things that are going to matter a lot are the orientation of the vectors. So vectors um, are going to be, in linear algebra at least, either um, horizontal or vertical, right? So I can see that even in both these two cases here, I'm multiplying the same two vectors. Um, and in the first case, they're both vertical and we're going to get a very different answer than if the second one um, is horizontal. The other thing that matters a lot is what kind of multiplication we're doing, right? So here in this first case, we're using this multiplication symbol, uh, which you're probably pretty familiar with. And that's going to be doing an element-wise operation. In contrast, down here, I'm doing a different kind of multiplication called uh, the dot product. And I'll be introducing what the dot product is. And, um, and at least in this first case, uh, we're going to get a very different result. It turns out that these second two happen to be the same, but that's not going to be generally true. OK, so the first thing I want to talk about is how we can um, decide the orientation of our vectors, because NumPy doesn't do that automatically. So here what I'm doing um, is I'm importing NumPy as NP, and I'm creating these two vectors, v1 and v2. And you can see that they're both, um, uh, they don't really have any direction. It looks like they're horizontal, but um, there's no way to really specify uh, one or the other. And uh, so what you actually will often do in NumPy is even if you have something that's inherently one-dimensional, uh, you'll specify it as a two-dimensional matrix. And uh, that matrix is either going to have um, only one column or it might have only one row. And if we do that, we can basically get a vector that's oriented one way or the other, even though our vector is actually according to um, NumPy, it's actually a matrix. And so, so how can we do that? Well, uh, remember that we can call this reshape, um, this we can call this reshape uh, method on our, on our, on our um, arrays. And what we can do is we can pass in different dimensions of what we would like. Um, so for example, I could say I want one row and three columns. And, um, and since I'm passing in two dimensions here, you can see that down here I've created two dimensions. Instead of before, it was just, it was like this, it was one dimensional. Uh, now it's two dimensional. Um, if I want, I can swap these. I can say three comma one. And, um, and now I've oriented it vertically. You can see that uh, one, two, and three are all on top of each other. Now, um, what people often do, if I try to extend this, you see it breaks, right? Because now I have to have four rows, so I could do that. Um, what people will often do for this number here is they'll just say negative one. Just um, kind of take up whatever space is necessary. If I do that, and um, I will do this. Pretty common pattern, right? This reshape, negative one, one, um, to say, hey, let's orient all the data if I have one column and as many rows as necessary. Right? This is a nice way to get uh, vertical vectors. And typically in the literature, unless specified otherwise, um, vectors are often treated as, um, as kind of oriented vertically like this. Right? So I'm actually just going to do this in both of these cases. I have both of these oriented vertically. And um, then, so that's the way people often create their vectors. Um, if you want to, you can uh, do what's called a transpose. And, and transposing just changes the orientation of it. So transposing a vertical vector makes it horizontal. Uh, transposing it again uh, makes it vertical again. By right? just switching back and forth, right? And I could do the same thing with V2. Right, so often uh, T is for transpose. So that's what we're doing, right? We're going to create our vectors as these um, matrices that have one column, and then we're going to transpose them um, as needed. Okay, so that's how we can do both directions. Um, let's talk now about these two different things, element-wise or dot product. Um, so element-wise is probably what you're actually more familiar with. Um, so let me multiply, and it's just the regular multiplication symbol, so I'm going to try multiplying these two together, uh, V1, V2. And um, you see what it's doing is it's just lining these values up. So one multiplied by four to produce four, uh, two gets multiplied by five to produce 10, and three gets multiplied by six to produce um, 18. Uh, so nothing um, too surprising there, just kind of lining everything up. Um, 
Now, now let's say I want to do this. Let's say I add a third vector, right? So I'm going to do this here. And my third vector is, uh, it's maybe a lot like this one, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, right? So I'm just going to say, um, it's like that. It only has two entries. And so what happens if I try to multiply a V1 by a V3? Uh, I get this exception, right? I cannot broadcast together these different shapes. So broadcast is an important um, concept here that I'm maybe talking a little more about. Uh, but you can see that there's certain shapes that can't um, go with each other. Now, it wouldn't be right to say that um, that I can never multiply by different shapes. So for example, let's say I have this one where it's just one number and I do it. Surprisingly, um, it actually works. So how how is that? How is it that a V1, let me show V1 again, how is it possible that V1, which has these three values, can be multiplied by this one, which only has one value? So what, um, what NumPy does when we have that is it does something called broadcasting, and broadcasting says that um, if I only have one value along a necessary dimension, uh, we have the flexibility to just add repeats of that value. Right, so you're going to actually see when I run this again, I get the same value because that's what broadcasting is. It automatically converts one four to three fours, right? But of course, it cannot convert two fours to three fours because maybe I have something weird like that, right? So either our dimensions have to have exactly the same size, or one of them has to be size one, and um, and then we can actually multiply together. <coughs> Now it's possible, um, when I'm looking at this, it, it's possible that I could, um, let's say, let me transpose this. It's possible that I could actually multiply these two things together. <clears throat> and that's kind of funny because I'm actually gonna have to broadcast both of these vectors, right? I need to um, repeat some columns here to get up to three columns, right? And then down here, I need to repeat some rows to get up to three rows, right? So if I multiply, if I multiply these two things together, v1 and v2 dot transpose, right? I'm trying to expand this. So I have three columns of one, two, three. I'm trying to expand this. So I have three rows of four, five, six, and uh, and then it, it can multiply those together. So let me just show you what that looks like in a little more detail. Um, so there's this thing called um, uh, concatenation in NumPy, and um, and let me just concatenate one of these with itself. So I'm going to concatenate v1, v1, one. I'm kind of putting them all end to end. But I'm going to say, um, remember that's the default. Zero does it vertically, uh, one does it hor horizontally, right? So maybe I'm going to capture this. This is what v1 is when it gets broadcast, just like that. Oops, and what did I do there? Uh, a V1, right? It's just repeating repeating those columns. And then, then what is uh, happening with V2? So V2 is basically getting converted like this, at an eight, um, and, and actually I'm just gonna put a T here, right? Because remember when I'm doing this, V1 times V2 transpose, uh, v2 transpose uh, really looks like these things, right? It's like v2 dot transpose, v2 dot transpose. We keep repeating that. And um, and let me actually take a peek at this v2 broadcast. Just like so. And, and of course, the default is axis equals zero, which has no effect here uh, because I wanted to do it vertically. Right, so so what happens? It's maybe a little bit more obvious what's going to happen when I multiply this uh, by this, right? Uh, because the shapes line up nicely, and I can do an element-wise operation, right? So if I run that, yeah, well, um, one times four uh, is four. One times five is five. Uh, two times five is ten. Three times six is eighteen. I'm not trying to keep going through it, but you get the idea. It kind of all works out, 
right? So, so what, what happens when I'm doing this operation here, right? When I'm doing this operation, I have these two vectors. And so what NumPy first does is it does the broadcasting. It converts this to this. And it converts this to this. And then it multiplies this by this to get that result, right? So that's why I'm able to um, do these things, even though none of the dimensions line up. Okay, that's broadcasting. Kind of a tricky concept, honestly. Um, let me introduce this other kind of multiplication. And I'm just trying to kind of contrast this here a little bit. So I had V1 times V2 before, and, um, and maybe I'm just trying to put this here and I say, v1 so we can see what is in these and then i have my v2 All right so this was an element wise operation if i want to do numpy dot dot product there is no special symbol for that um it's not going to work right it's complained complaining that these are not uh really working out and so the way we do two vectors is that the first one uh, will generally be transposed it turns out that one of these has to be transposed and this is a more common pattern and, uh, and so what is it doing here? Maybe I'm just trying to show what this looks like. V1 dot transpose. What is it doing? Well, it's taking the second piece and you can imagine it rotating it and then it's lining these up. Four times one and then a two times five and then six times three. But then the last step is that after it does those three multiplications, it adds the three results together, right? So here we had 32, and that's just one times four plus two times five plus three times six. I get the exact same uh, result, right? So even though this one is um, horizontal, it's kind of imagine in your head that it's rotating uh, horizontally and kind of stamping across this, multiplying and then adding up. Um, this is going to be very common for uh, linear equations, right? Because we're going to have a lot of cases where we want to uh, you know, multiply um, some coefficients by some variables, right? I guess in, the, in these cases, both I had numbers in both cases, but you could imagine um, something like this, right? I could have like you know, x times 4 plus 2 times y uh, plus uh, 3 times the z, right? We're going to have things like that in the future. Okay, so that's the dot product. Um, why don't you head over to the uh, lecture document and do a little practice?